forget the one who goes out of his way to stand tall among us all. The white American nigga. You see, we got Chinese niggas, Russian niggas, German niggas, Korean niggas. Those tall heads, 7 Eleven owning Pakistani niggas. We got sand niggas, in some circles known as Arab oil niggas. And then we have that black, ain't going nowhere, won't let nobody else go anywhere, brother and sister, known as niggas who sit by the door. House niggas, and niggas who should have been dead a long time ago. Then you got the stereotypes, who answer the tongue, colored people, Negroes. Shuffle their feet, dance jigs, bow and scrape. No ma'am, yes sir. The other race is two years old enough. This is the personification of ridiculous. Now nigga ain't nothing but somebody. Let me change that to nobody. Who don't have his thing together. For example, if you got a wife and family, it's common knowledge that you're supposed to support them to the best of your ability. But instead of getting a job, you'd rather be absent most of the time so they can be on welfare. You're a nigga. And when the check dies come on the first and the 15th, you show up, play daddy for an hour, take her dumb ass in the bedroom and play Don Juan for another hour, then commandeer the check, minus the rent, and go down on the strip and play big shot while your children are hungry and dressing like off and in. You a big fool, nigga. They should be castrated. And if you can only deal with reality through cocaine, ice, crack, and barbiturates, heroin, etc., etc., you are dumb, nigga. And if you one of those people who talk out of both sides of their mouth, pretending to please everybody and ain't pleasing nobody, including yourself, you a shitty nigga. Are you black? You might be a nigga. Are you white? Well, you can still be a nigga. Are you red? Are you yellow? Are you brown? It wouldn't matter if you were polka dot. You can still be a N-I-G-G-E-R. And all of us know who we are, whether we admit it publicly or not. Now, don't look at me just because my hair is nappy, my skin is black. I got curly white teeth, my eyes glow in the dark. I can sing, play basketball, got a natural sense of dancing rhythm. Know how to cook chicken, love to eat chicken. Pig feet, pork chops, fat, fat chickens. Black eyed peas, candy yams, collard greens, cornbread, and call me a nigga. See, but you can sit around and eat your bagels and your lox, your filth of fish, your matzo balls and your shawls. Your liver spread and your lasagna, your cacciatore this and your cacciatore that. Be your parmesan, your great Suzette, your baked Alaska, your chopped suet, your egg roll, your egg drop, your hot gong cube, your shrimp dumplings, your sour broth, your caviar, and still be a bona fide, qualified 24 carat, complete with all the accessories right off the assembly line. You see, niggas are made, not born. You take this from somebody who was black before it was in bold. I was black when we were colored. I was black when we were Negroes. I was black when we tried to be Afro-Americans the first time. I was black at the time when you called a nigga black, he would kick your ass. I have a master's in niggerology and a PhD in niggerism. I know how niggas act. I know what niggas want. I know what niggas do. I know what niggas won't do. And that's stand up, stand by, or stand in. As soon as it gets a little thick, you can 
see the niggas get plenty thin. When you come only to help, then discover you by yourself. You just had an encounter of the nigger kind. God help him. Somebody help him. What makes them tick boggles the mind. And the thought of having to deal with one makes cutting your genitals off with a dull razor blade or sticking some hot curling eyes in your rectum seem like one of life's two 